They're a big, strong, powerful character. Massive. Minotaur. That sounds pretty simple, you know. Doesn't get much harder than this. We spent months and months and months just building Minotaurs. I remember of the process of design through the Minotaurs, we were all thinking, man, this is going to take some pretty powerful movie magic for the good guys to win this fight, because it was looking pretty one-sided then. <laughs> We have the full bodysuit that he slides into. Just like you do your pants in the morning. Legs, legs, arms, arms. Zip him up the back. I zipped it already. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. Being a trained professional, I know how to do these things. <laughs> then he puts on his feet, which are these big extension boots. They're the new swoosh. Are they comfortable? Man, do they look comfortable? I can shoot hoops in these, buddy. <laughs> yes. these, these, these are hoop hoops. <laughs> then we have hands, gloves that fit on and then we put on all the armor. One of the other things that you see in fantasy films a lot is the fallback on making the baddies look tattered and undisciplined. <laughs> what we did with the Minotaurs, who are the bulk of the Queen's army, is there is no finer armor in the film. All they do is spend time on their weapons and armor. So it is beautiful, it is functional, and it is extreme. Heads on. And the last thing we do on set is put the head on. It's this big, heavy mechanical head that just fits on, straps in the back. The actor, what little he can see, sees out of the mouth. Facially, it has side-to-side -side jaw movement, full lips, so it could do dialogue. Ears, eye rotation, blinks, brows, a little cheek movement. Did everything. All the guys that played Minotaurs were completely blind in the mechanical heads because the way we, they were designed. We just didn't have a space for any of these poor guys to see. If ever in a doubt that you don't know where you are, just stop, okay? okay. That way you don't hit anything. So prior to the takes, Two, one, go! we would go ahead and have them walk through the sequence without their heads on, then walk through the sequence with their eyes closed, then I'd put the heads on, have them walk through it another time, and then we would shoot. Action! First, a lot of people are like, these guys are going to get killed. I'm like, they're not going to get killed. They're going to be fine. Good, James. James, good. My first day on set, I found it really hard. Right, chain. Ready and stop. I don't think they kind of grasp onto the fact that I, I couldn't see nothing. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Yeah, Is that close? No, that yeah, was good. yeah, yeah. Nice. And then to add insult to injury, we turn on the radio. <laughs> And all they hear is all the little servos zipping around like bees in their head. <laughs> and, you know, Andrew's going, have him go more to the left. And I'm like, Shane, to the left, to the left, and run back out, you know. We go to do the scene, and Andrew goes, oh, actually, actually Shane, can, can, can you look to the camera? And I was just like, well, where, where is the camera? OK, have him go to the right. Run out there. Shane, to the right, to the right. You tell people um, you're 100% blind, they can't see anything. And you know they don't really believe you until you walk into something. You know, but I've walked into to people, into trees, you know. I actually like him the most as far as the bad guys go. I mean, many days I just stood there looking at all the Manitors going, this is just so cool. <laughs> no!